Hi Denison community, my name is Bo Scott, I'm the Director of Sports Performance and Head Strength and Conditioning Coach here at Denison University. We know this is a very unique time where a lot of you are cooped up in your homes. Our student athletes have been staying busy and, and doing workouts while they're in their own quarantines and we wanted to have some of our athletes demonstrate some of those exercises for you right now. We hope you're staying safe and healthy and we'll see you soon. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Chase Strewing. I am class of 2020 at Denison, uh, so I'll be graduating in about a week. Um, I played football at Denison all four years, and one of the workouts I want to show you guys today is a decline push-up. Now this works really well with your upper chest and your, the front of your shoulders, so your delts. Um, you can use a chair, your bed, uh, a step, anything to prop your feet up. Now the higher your feet are propped up, the more difficult it will be, and the more it will shift towards your shoulders and less on your chest. So you can choose however you want if you want it to be just a six inch um, step or if you want it to be a chair or your bed which is taller, it's your pick. So basically, you stick your feet up, hands down like a push up position, go down, touch your chest, come back up, and that's one rep. And typically, I do that for about three sets of 10 to 15 depending on the difficulty and depending on how you feel about the exercise. Hi y'all, I'm Abby Scully. I'm a rising senior on the field hockey team from Charlotte, North Carolina, and today I'm gonna walk you through how to do a split squat. So, split squats are great at activating your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes. Today I'm using a chair as my elevated surface. You can use whatever you have around the house. Um, I'm using my left leg as my rear leg and my right leg as my front leg. So I'm gonna elevate my left leg on the chair and try to get my front leg far enough away so that when I go into my squat, my knee doesn't go over my toe. And when you go down into the split squat, you want to make sure you keep your chest up and you want to keep your front legs to a 90 degree angle. You can do this on each leg for six to eight reps for three to four sets and you should be good to go. You can also add weight if you want to make it a little bit more difficult. Hi, my name is Cole Weiss. I'm a freshman on the baseball team and I'm from Chagrin Falls, Ohio. I'll be doing the body weight squat. So this is good for your quadriceps, your calves, your hamstrings. It's a total lower, lower body exercise. that butt down. Make sure your knees aren't coming in. You can do this for 10 to 15 to 20 reps. That's a three to four. Get a good pause at the bottom. Come back up. Make sure you're keeping those knees straight. Butt down. You can have hands out to the side. You can have a weight here if you want. Hi, my name is Sam Klein. I'm from Greensburg, Pennsylvania, and I'm a member of the softball team. I will be showing you how to do a plank. A plank focuses primarily on your core muscles, which can also improve your back health and can therefore improve your posture. There are different kinds of ways you can perform a plank. You can use your forearms or you can go on your hands like a push-up position. Form is very important for a plank. You want your back to be flat. You don't want your butt to be up too high or too low. And you want your forearms or your hands to be right underneath of your shoulders. This is a plank on my forearms. You can see that my butt is in line with my back and not too high. And this is a plank on my hands. You can notice that my hands are directly underneath of my shoulders. I usually do a plank for about a minute for two to three sets. If you can't hold it for a full minute, do it for as long as you can with correct form. And once your form starts to go bad, then you should stop. Hi, my name is Logan Dagan and I'm a soccer player from Columbus, Ohio. Today, I'm gonna to take you through how to do the lateral lunge. Not only does the lateral lunge strengthen your abductors and your glutes, but it also helps with stability, balance. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to step to the side and squat down. Lean into the, your lunge by pushing back on your heels, and then using your plant foot, you're gonna push back up to your original position. And then you're gonna repeat on the other side. You're gonna to wanna to repeat this for six to eight reps on each side. Hi, my name is Devin Irvin. I'm a junior on the men's lacrosse team from Hingham, Massachusetts. And I'm going to demonstrate the T-stabilization push-up. Start, start in regular push-up position. Go down and up. And top, twist into a T. Just like this. It's a real easy push-up variant that gets the chest, triceps, and the core involved. And it's great for an at-home workout. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. And I'm on the Denison women's golf team. And today what I'm going to do is show you how to do an exercise called Superman. And what it is, is you are lifting your arms and legs simultaneously off of the ground. 
while activating your core muscles. So basically it should feel like you're tightening your core muscles. And what this exercise is working out is your core, but more specifically targeting your lower back. And so I'll show you how to do that right now. So typically I would do maybe 10 reps of this workout and then do two to three sets. And if you want to make it more challenging for yourself, you can hold your arms and legs off of the ground uh, for a longer period of time. So typically I would do it for two seconds, but if you want to make it more challenging, you can hold it for longer. Hi, my name is KT Kustritz. I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota, and I am on the women's swim and dive team. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a towel leg curl. This exercise is really good for working the back of your legs and just strengthening your hamstrings. So in order to do the exercise, you're going to need to find a slippery surface. I didn't have one outside, so I used the top of a bin. Um, but then you're also going to need a towel. And you're going to lay down on your back, putting your feet on the towel, and prop yourself up into a glute bridge. From here, you're going to move your feet outwards and back inwards in order to complete the curl. You're really gonna feel the burn in your hamstrings. Do this exercise three by 10, so 10 reps each, three times through. 